Today, we're going to talk about uh, what I consider to be the number two difference between top earners and everyone else who's struggling in their business. Now, if you want to know my t my number one, you're like, why? Why don't you just tell us the number one? Well, you need to attend my free web class to discover what the number one difference is. But in today's video, number two is right up there. In fact, it's a very, very close second uh, with the number one reason uh, why top earners are top earners and why most other people are struggling in their business. But uh, I'm going to get into that today. First of all, would you give me a quick shout out in the box? Let me know that you're here. Uh, say hello. Give me a few hearts if you're excited about today's message. And I'll take a minute to introduce myself. My name is Tyson Zahner. I call these little videos gems from the gym as I give you little business gems to help you in your business journey to generate more leads and more sales to become a top earner as I'm leaving the fitness gym for the day. And um, before I tell you what the secret is, the, the really the number two difference between top earners and everyone else, I can tell you I was plagued by this disease, so to speak, for many, many years, and it's why I struggled. And after I kind of overcame this, and after I discovered the number one secret, which I share on my free web class, um, I had my breakthrough. And w one of the biggest things is this, and I'm going to tell you a quick story to really drive this point home in a minute, but... The big difference is that top earners look for reasons why they should. Everyone else looks for reasons why they should not. All right? You might want to write that down. Top earners look for reasons why they should do it. Everyone else looks for reasons why they should not do it. Or maybe even a, a, another way of saying that is top earners look for reasons, how can I get this done? Everyone else looks for excuses as to here's why I can't do this. Here's why this won't work for me. In fact, in our house, you know, my kids, I have, uh, we basically have told them, you're not allowed to end a sentence with, I can't. You can say, I can't yet. You can say, I currently struggle with, but making a blanket statement like, I can't is giving it's giving you a reason to why say internally why I'm not able to do something and I don't allow that kind of thinking because that is the kind of thinking that held me back and I'm going to give you a great example of some of the excuses that I hear from some of my prospects and I think this will help you to understand why some of your prospects say no why a lot of your prospects say no and how you can start getting a more of them to say yes because once you understand the thinking the the internal thinking of your prospect's mind and you start understanding what their objections are before they ever voice them, then you're going to be able to make more sales, period. So uh, let me tell you a quick story and this will illustrate some of the objections that I hear a lot in my business. So I sell, I sell information products. In fact, if you attend my free web class, I'll give you 60 minutes of free training. If you enjoy it, I'll offer you one of my, uh, my uh, training courses at the end. It's not an obligation to buy, but if you, if you enjoy the training and you want to, uh, dive deeper, that's available to you. Um, but here's what I hear from a lot of people. I hear excuses like, well, I already have a training on X, Y, and Z, or I already know that. I hear that a lot. Or, um, oh, my upline already teaches such and such, so I don't, I don't need any other mentors. I already have a mentor. I don't need another one. Or, um, well, I get this one a lot. Tyson, what's the number one course that I should buy in order to achieve success in my business, right? I only want to buy one thing. I don't, like, I know a doctor would go to, go to medical school and he would, he wouldn't just take one course on one part of the body. He would take lots of courses on medicine, but I, I don't want to do that to create success. No, 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 no. I want to take one course only and that one course should make me successful next week, right? And so um, I heard a story, you, you may have heard recently that uh, Glenn Campbell died. Um, if you don't know who Glenn, Glenn Campbell is, he's a, he was a very famous, uh, very successful American songwriter, singer, country musician, guitarist. And he died recently from about six years of battling with Alzheimer's. And I heard an interview with Alice Cooper, who was really good friends with Glenn Campbell. And he said that Eddie Van Halen, you know who Eddie Van Halen is? G guitar God. Eddie Van Halen, probably along with like Jimmy Page and Jimi Hendrix, probably considered in the top three of rock guitarists of all time. Eddie Van Halen once asked Alice Cooper if he could get him a lesson with Glenn Campbell. Now, most people would listen to that and go, hold on, what? Why, why in the world would Eddie Van Halen want lessons with Glenn Campbell, right? Number one, Eddie Van Halen is already incredibly successful. Doesn't he already know everything he needs to know to have success? Well, this is what separates great 
from mediocre, right? Greatness says, man, I'm never done learning. I can always learn more. In fact, somebody, and the other thing people would say is, hold on, why would he, Eddie Van Halen's a rock guitarist and uh, Glenn Campbell is, is more of a country musician. What could Glenn Campbell teach Eddie that would be relevant and that would be helpful to him? And that's the thing that separates amazing, great people, top earners, and people who are wildly successful from everyone else. Everyone else would make excuses. They would look for reasons why, right? If Eddie Van Halen were like every other guitar player, he would make excuses. Well, Glenn Campbell's a, a, a country guitarist and I'm rock. That's a reason why I shouldn't take lessons from him. Oh, I, I already have amazing success. I'm already a renowned guitar player, one of the best in the world. Why do I need to take more? I already know how to play guitar. No, as a top earner, the one of the biggest, is this helpful? Is anybody getting value from this or am I just <laughs> ticking off a bunch of the know-it-alls out there? Give me some hearts. I'd love to know if this has been helpful to you and give me some comments below if you know anybody that would get value from this. But this is one of the biggest things that I found that separated me. Once I stopped looking for reasons why I shouldn't and I started looking for reasons why I should start doing it, that's when everything started to change for me. And so I'll hear people all the time that'll say, but Tyson, you don't understand my business. It's just so unique. It's so different. Or you don't understand people in my area of the world are so skeptical and they're always looking for reasons why they shouldn't instead of reasons why they should for reasons why they can instead of reasons why they can't. So that is one of the biggest uh, uh, secrets and one of the biggest differences between top earners and everyone else. If you want to know the number one secret, I, I think that's number two, but it's a close second to number one. If you want to know what number one is, click the link in the post description above. Feel free to register for my free upcoming web class. Not only will I tell you what the number one difference is, I'll also show you my simple three-step formula for how I enrolled over a thousand people into one of my businesses, became a number one income earner for three straight years years in a row and one of my companies went on to speak on stage across the country uh, have done you know well over a million dollars in sales online and I'd love to show you that simple three-step formula along with the secret that top earners know the number one secret in addition to the number two secret I just shared with you here so thank you guys for being here for another episode of gems from the gym if you got value out of this once again give me a few more hearts tap that heart button a whole bunch of times to let me know this was helpful give me a few comments in the comment box below and I appreciate you tuning in appreciate your time and your attention and we'll see you guys on the next uh, Gems from the Gym. This is Tyson's Honor saying have an amazing day. Take care. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Listen, if you enjoyed this video and you want more free training on my channel to help you generate more leads and more sales and grow your business using cutting edge strategies on the internet, take a second to do three things before you go. Click my face right here to subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell below to get notified every time I post new videos and click this video to watch some more free training on my channel. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.